Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate, JJ. <clears throat> well, I remember today's job title is Hacky in Residence. Hacky in Residence. For those who don't know, I have a new job title for my ID card every time I do a video. So that explains that when it says my job title on the, on the blog post. It's just talking about the job title that's on my ID card, which is part of my costume. So it's just a bit past seven o'clock in the morning here in uh, Sydney today. And um, I wanted to do an unboxing video, um, but it might actually be a bit more than that because in addition to doing the unboxing, I thought I'd do a demo. Um, I've got a meeting at 10, so we've got just a bit less than three hours together. Um, so uh, I, I can pop these things out of the box. That's only going to take a minute or two. But then I thought I might make a, um, a, a timer, a, like a timer circuit based on a 555 um, integrated circuit. And then we could use these tools uh, and our scope um, to measure um, the, the circuit and just see what it's doing. Um, I suppose I should tell you the thing that I want to demo today or the, that I want to unbox today are these, um, uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to call them. I, I might call them IC clips. IC as in integrated circuit. So these things can clip onto an integrated circuit's uh, feet. Um, and on this one, well, they're, they're branded here, uh, micro microchip RW clip. RW usually means read and write, doesn't it? So I'm not sure why they've called it that. Microchip RW clip. Um, that's what it says on these ones. And then there's these ones which are different, but basically the same thing, uh, SMD grippers and test clips. So these guys call themselves SMD grippers. SMD is, of course, surface mount device. Uh, you might also say SMT, which is surface mount technology, talking about the same thing. Now, um, we'll have a look at these together. I have to say, I considered not doing this unboxing video because the manufacturer of these things hurt my feelings. They seem to be uh, based in China. Their products are manufactured in China. It says made in China. Um, and it's got um, it's got a part number. I couldn't find any details about it. So these ones are called SDK07, and these ones are called SDK08. Um, when we get over to the bench in a minute, I'll give you a good look at the, them and what the difference is. But the reason why I thought I might not support this brand is because I really didn't like their, uh, um, their, their material on the side here. Let me just read it to you. It says patent number, and then it lists two patents that seem to have been registered three years ago in 2020. And then it's got the Chinese statement and then slash an English statement. And in English, it says, counterfeit will investigate. Counterfeit will investigate. So this company from China is being heavy about intellectual property for some fucking clips. And let me show you, just with regard to prior art, um, I have uh, these things, which are great. This one is a, is a long sp sp uh, springy thing with a magnet at the end. It's good for picking stuff up, you know, like that. Um, and when I got that, it came with this, which is a springy thing that has uh, a claw that you can put out and then grab. So it's a, it's a grabber. I could probably grab, couldn't quite grab my coffee. It's too big. Uh, but you get the idea. What could I grab to show you? How about this? I'll grab the network cable on the floor here. Can you see that? Yeah. So I've got a grabber, got a grabber, and it's just a springy grabber thing. And I mean, this Chinese company, they didn't invent probes, you know, like I've got probes over here. This is a probe. Of course, it's not a, it's not a grabby probe. Uh, this one's a, it's an insulation piercing probe. Uh, but I do have grabby probes, like this one here. This is a grabby probe. Its mechanism's a little bit different to what this one uses, but it's a fucking probe. Anyway, this is a hook probe, and you push it out, and you hook the thing under, and it comes back in. Um, and these probes, as I'll show you in a minute, they, they work more like this, except instead of having four things, it just has two. Um, and look, I'm not saying that they're not good product. I, I think they look like an excellent product and they're going to be very useful, uh, which is why I decided to tell you about them. But I, I just wanted to have it on record that I'm a little bit miffed about this bullshit about counterfeit will investigate for a fucking probe. I mean, seriously, that patent trolling fucking ah, makes me angry. And, I, and, I, and the thing that pisses me off is I wouldn't expect it out of China. China is not supposed to be like that, uh, for better or worse, I suppose. Anyway. It just hurt my feelings uh, to have that, that threatening commentary on the side of their box about how if anyone else tries to make a product like that, they'll investigate. Anyway, and I, I don't know what jurisdiction their uh, patents are in anyway. They've just got two patent numbers. Who knows where they're registered? If you know anything about patents, it's a global system. There's, you know, hundreds maybe jurisdictions. So you can register a patent, but you have to do it per country. Anyway, uh, whatever. So let's jump over to the bench and pop these two different uh, IC clips out of, the, out of the box and we'll have a look what we're dealing with. And then maybe we can spend a bit of time making a circuit together. Let's make a, a 555 timer. Uh, I haven't done that since I was a kid. And uh, I'm just going to make a real one with, with a, um, a circuit board and my soldering iron. We'll, we'll put it together and then uh, we'll use these clips to connect to various points of the circuit. And we'll feed them through the uh, um, oscilloscope and we'll see what we can see. Should be able to have a bit of a signal generator thing going on there. 
So um, yeah, it could take us a while to get through all of those things. But uh, if you're just interested in the unboxing, that's only going to take a couple of minutes. So we'll do that first. And then after that, let's make a circuit and have a look at it with these things. So over to the bench. Here we are on the bench. And these are the products that we're interested in. I'll just turn that bright light off. I don't know much like with the light, am I? How about that? It's a bit better for you, isn't it? All right. Well, the ones that arrive first are these ones, and I think I'm going to prefer these ones just because they're smaller. Um, and But they're the older model, the, um, the SDK07. These ones, I guess, are the upgrade. I haven't seen these yet. You and I will get to see them together when I open them now. I did have a look at these ones earlier, but these ones just arrived today. Uh, this one's SDK08. So let's do them in uh, alphabetical order and have a look at what's in the box. So, we've got some uh, female to female uh, DuPont. It's uh, four by four by the looks of it. Is that what it is? Oh, it might be 10 actually. Who's gonna count those? Five and five is 10. All right, so we get 10 female to female DuPont. We've got our cool little box that these things come in. And I'm really pleased about that actually. It will be easy to keep them in order. And you can just slide it. Oh, it might be taped up still from the... Uh... No, it doesn't seem to be taped up. I'm not sure why it won't just pop open. There we go. It's like violence, right? If it's not working, you're not using enough of it. So there we go. So you can just pop them out like that. I'm going to put them away. And this is the thing. I might actually have to put you onto the uh, microscope to show you... Um... Yeah. All right, under the microscope we go. Yeah. Oh dear, I seem to have knocked a cable. Oh, that wasn't good. All right, let's try and get that thing in focus. Uh, fumbling around like an amateur this morning, aren't I? Let's see if we can just get in. There, that's really where we want. There we go. And the side a bit, not too much, just a bit. All right, and now we'll uh, focus on this thing. All right, let's see if we can uh, share that with you. All right, so this is it. Uh, on this end, um, this end uh, is the probe uh, clip, so that goes into your, uh, your female DuPont. Let's just put that in there. Oh, one thing is this morning. All right, so you pop him in there, like that, give it a good push, there we go. Now you can see when you give this thing a bit of, uh, let's see if I can, there we go. You give this thing a bit of a push, and the grabbers come out, you see the grabbers? And they can grab onto things. So, out come the grabbers, for grabbing. Grab, grab, grab. Might be better for you if I um, put it on a different coloured background, how about that? There's the grabbers. Do you see the grabbers? <clears throat> and they're pretty small, so they can get into a nice tight spot. And the more you push, the more open and wide they come. So yeah, that's the, that's the first uh, one called the microchip RW clip. So we'll be checking that out shortly. Let's put him away in his little box. There we go. Now it did come with a manual, but uh, I mean, these things are pretty self-explanatory, wouldn't you say? Let's pop you back over on the, the full view. So, uh, step one, take out the clip. Step two, insert the DuPont line. Step three, push out the clip. So I just showed you how to do all that. You saw that on the, uh, um, uh, on the demo I just did in the unboxing, so that's good. Operating skills. The method of holding small chip pin. Wobble the hand gently and push forward slightly. After use, don't force the clip off from the chip pin uh, to push out the clip and gently remove it from the, pin, from the chip pin. If it can't hold the chip pin, please refer to the picture. Yeah. All right, and there's a picture here. Do you see that? There we go. Something's shit. There we go. The 90 degrees. Uh, yeah, that's the picture anyway. So that's it for the first lot. Let's do the second lot. These are the newer model. Now, there's not much on the um, on the thing that's in English. Just the uh, the title, SMD Grippers. It says that the minimum gap is 0.3 of a millimeter, and that's talking about the gap between the feet on the IC. Um, and then it gives you some specs about the probes themselves. The top end's one mil diameter, and the base is three mil diameter. Now, just to remind you, this is the SDK08, which is the next model up, I guess, from the SD07, which we just had a look at. So let's see what these ones are like. They're both from the same company in China. Um, oh, there we go, okay. Well, I have to say I prefer the uh, packaging on the other one. Uh, don't you think? I mean, that's just kind of handy. Like, it 
they're all tight. Once they've done it, it's a bit hard to push open, isn't it? I wasn't expecting that. But once you get it kind of open and you push it up, and it just, you know, they, they bend forward. You can tip them forward a bit and pull them out and put them back. I don't know. I just like the packaging for these little ones. Um, anyway, I guess when we get in here, we'll take that rubber band off. And uh, I'll put that rubber band away. It's always good to have a bit of rubber band. Oh, I see. Well, the thing about these ones is that they've got a, a full um, uh, mechanical, like, trigger kind of thing going on. So, you know, maybe they are easier to work with. I don't know. We'll give both of them a go. They're not as easy to store, that's for sure. Look at them. They all fell around in the box. Frankly, I'm not even sure if I'll keep them in the box. I might just keep them loose in my, uh, in my probe drawer. Let me show you my probe drawer. This is it. It's a drawer full of probes. These ones are insulation piercing. Uh, these are uh, insulated uh, alligator clips for my um, for my multimeter. Uh, this is another box of the SDK 07s, which we're unboxing at the moment. I've got another box of those already in the thing. I got a bunch of these Dupont things. So that's uh, uh, just a, a, a um, actually these th these are for attaching to um, the various other bits and pieces. So like I have these clips. Oh look, isn't that funny? These clips are exactly the same as the ones we're just about to look at, the patented ones. So I wonder if uh, our Chinese company is going to try and sue whoever made this particular pro because it works exactly the same way. So really, that whole noise about uh, patent, uh, just silly, silly, silly. Anyway, there we go. That's how these, these probes work. So that, that's pretty good. Um, and, and that about does it for the types of probes in here. Oh, I didn't show you these ones. So this is just another type. It's a, it's a hook type. Uh, you might see the hook on, um, can you see the hook under there? Maybe if I bring it right up, can you see that? Yeah. That hook's kind of similar to what you see on an um, actual oscilloscope probe, isn't it? So um, yeah, I got, I got a box, as you can see, well, a tray, a tray full of um, probes. That's my, can you see that's my logic probes tray. So um, as I was saying, these things, I might just keep them loose in here. I don't know, or I'll keep them in the box. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's good to have options. So, let's have a look at the manual for this guy as well, huh? Well, that's Chinese on that side. Excuse me for a second while I caffeinate. I'm a bit thirsty. You're not really in the lab unless you're sipping on a cup of coffee, are you? Anyway, so these are the instructions. Step one, insert the DuPont line. Step two, push out the clip. All right. Operating skills. I think it's funny in the instructions they decided to d ditch step one, which is take out the clip. There we go. So it's got simpler. Well done. Operating skills. Uh, the SDK08 test clips are used for chips with spacing greater than 0 0.3 mils. So that was the same. Uh, and when I say mils, I mean millimeters, not millionths of an inch. So 0 0.3 millimeters. Um, the method of holding small chip pin, wobble the hand gently and push forward slightly. After use, don't force the clip off from the chip pin to push out the clip and, and gently remove it from the chip pin. If it can't hold the chip pin, please refer to the picture. The picture is the same as it was on the other one. Adjust the front end of the clip with tweezers to make the angle close to 90 degrees. So it's Sudake, 40 volt, SDK08, current 2 amp, patent right. Here we go. SDK08 test clip is a brand new original product. This product has been patented and copying is not permitted. Appearance patent number, utility model patent number. So I have no idea where those patents are registered. Probably in China, maybe in America. I don't know. I don't care. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm just a little bit sad to see that kind of, you know, threatening, bullying sort of notice on the products that I buy. Ah, anyway, let's pick a blue one. Sorry, a blue one and a green one. I'm wearing these yellow glasses and they change the color of everything. So, uh, yeah, just bear with me. I'll figure that out. All right, well, we've got two clips. Let's power up the scope. Let's turn the microscope, uh, oscilloscope on. I wanted to show you, check this out. This is my thermal imager. Have you seen it? It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's mounted up on the thing there, but look, if you put your hand there and then take your hand away, there's a handprint because it got hot because of my hand. So uh, isn't that cool? You can see uh, it's a bit laggy there. It's got to go through the uh, through the USB thingamies, so it's a bit laggy. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, I should be able to put you over on HDMI 1. So let's put you back on uh, HDMI. I'm not sure why the bench HDMI isn't working. No signal. I've done something wrong. Oh, I see. So that should come up. Yes. All right, great. Um, so I'll pop you over to there. That's the, uh, that's the microscope without light on it. Now, if we want to see 
Ah, uh, yep. So I just got to put the oscilloscope. I'll just try and get you back on the bench here. There we go. All right. So um, I've got to enable the HDMI output. So I'm going to utility. No, not utility. Um, oh dear, I'm not sure. Uh, display maybe. Display. No. Utility. Uh, more. No. Uh, I can't remember what button it is for the uh, HDMI. That was utility. Utility, oh, there it is, I-O, and then HDMI on, and then I press that a couple of times. There we go, should work. Yes, it does, great. All right, well, let me just show you. No, nope, that's not the one. Uh, back there, and then you. All right, so we've got the, uh, the oscilloscope view there. That's gonna come in handy later on. I'm gonna jump over this view. Now, what are we gonna do? So we've got, uh, we've got these two test clips, uh, the SDK 08s. We're gonna be having a look at those. And we've got um, the same again uh, in the older model. Um, you, I noticed that the uh, the SDK 08s did not come with DuPont cable, so um, that's not a problem. Of course, I've got heaps of that stuff. All right, so let's say um, let's say blue and yellow. Why not blue and yellow? Two of those, Ripper. Wow. All right, well. Now I figured I might as well make an actual circuit with you, um, just so that we could, um, you know, test these things. Oh, look, there's an old circuit from earlier. I thought it'd be fun to make a circuit. I'm just gonna power up that uh, soldering iron there, because we're gonna actually, all right. I know I've knocked my camera. Hang on a sec. How's that? Good enough, good enough. So uh, look, um, this video has already gone on uh, for a while and uh, just doing the, uh, the unboxing of the, uh, the SDK 08 and the SDK 07s, which are these, as I've been showing you, just the various types of clips. Um, and uh, uh, in the rest of the video that I recorded earlier, I spent like two hours trying to make, trying to make a simple circuit and it just, things got out of hand. And then when I went to use it, it didn't work. So, so I haven't fixed it yet. Um, there's a problem with the circuit I've been making. I, uh, I haven't even tried to diagnose it yet. I'll have a look at that soon, but I thought um, I'll just tie off this particular video. This is the unboxing of, of, the, of the probes. Um, I think I've given you a bit of a, a demonstration of what those are. Um, I'm gonna do some separate videos um, uh, to, 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 to demo these things. So this is not the demo, this is just the unboxing. You've seen everything there is to see about these things. So I'm just gonna plug this explanatory note on the back of the, the, that, that video and I'm gonna publish it as the unboxing video. But I want you to know that if you um, are interested in seeing these uh, probes demoed, or if you're interested in seeing me make the 555 timer circuit, which I'm gonna to use to demo the probes, um, you know, then, then stick around. And uh, the best place to keep up to date on everything is on the blog, um, but which is blog.jj5.net. But if, um, or, or just subscribe to my channel on YouTube, the thing is, um, some of the content that I'm going to be publishing later is going to go on my second channel, which is called Elliot's Extras. Um, it's just it's just for the for the really long uh, long form videos of just rambling. It's not high quality material. It's often quite like it's long duration. Um, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the attempt at building the five 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 timer. I'm gonna put that up on the second channel, um, and I'm gonna put this up on the first channel, which is uh, my main channel, and um, just give you the unboxing of these two bits of equipment. So um, so that concludes the unboxing of the SDK 07 and the SDK 08. They look like really cool bits of equipment. I haven't used them in anger yet. I'm a bit miffed about their heavy handedness with regard to the patent of the thing. I don't think they've got a case that they invented this type of probe. I, I have other probes that work the same way in my drawer. So I don't like that at all. Um, <coughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be using these. They, they look like they're just the right tool for the job, uh, for, for a lot of jobs. So um, that's great. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're planning to get some of these yourself, I hope I've helped you understand um, what your options are. Obviously the, uh, the SDK 08s have the great big honking trigger thing on them uh, and the SDK 07, which presumably is the earlier model, doesn't have any such thing. I haven't used them enough to know whether the triggers are actually useful or if they're just the sort of thing that gets in the way. Um, I suspect I'll be using the ones without the trigger, but I'm not certain about that yet. Uh, I kind of prefer the storage for the SDK 07s, which are the earlier ones. Then they're just simpler, smaller little case, um, as you would have seen in the video. Um, and then um, I don't love the packaging and storage for the, for the SDK 08s, but um, I don't necessarily need to keep these things in these boxes. 
Actually, they might even make good little project boxes for some other, you know, like Arduino casing or something. So, um, yeah, and, and, and these are these clips, as you can see, are uh, they're, they're really quite big, aren't they? So I don't know how many of those you'd get in. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's good to have options. So I guess my uh, to start with, I'm going to make the SDK 07s my go-to solution. But if I find myself in a situation where I'm having trouble attaching them because I feel like I need more purchase on the lever, well then, I'll go to the SDK 08s. So looking forward to figuring out how um, how, how I actually use these things in the end um, with the benefit of hindsight. So um, look, that's everything I have to tell you about these things at the moment. Um, Stick around if you if you if you subscribe to this channel. In the future, I'm going to be doing a demo of these things. Um, and on the second channel, I'm going to put um, my first failed attempt at building a 555 timer. So I'll I'll post that um, now. It's going to be like a two-hour video or something like that, um, and it ends in failure. Um, and then after I've posted those two videos, um, I'll uh, I'll have another go at the 555 timer. I'll get one that works. Once I have a 555 timer that works, then I'll do the demo of these things by clipping onto the, the IC, the 555 IC, and uh, feeding it into my oscilloscope and getting a read on some of those pins through these um, nifty little SMD gripper test clips. So, uh, yeah, look, this video is already quite long enough. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it, and I'll see you in the next one.